Jermon, thanks so much for being with us. And, uh, you know, when you started your career, I know Brady has talked about many times that, that you played, you were from King George, Virginia, and there wasn't a lot of recruiting going on in that area. How did you end up at Towson? Um, you're right. There wasn't a lot of recruiting going out, going on in, uh, you know, in that area. But I was very fortunate that I had um, some good coaches behind me, my head coach and my position coach in, uh, in high school. Uh, they had relationships with different coaches. You know, the word got out, you know, once you get – some looks from certain teams, then I guess it kind of is a little bit of a buzz, especially for the teams that's in the same conference. The next thing you know, like I started to hear something from Towson and then it was an opportunity for, you know, me to stay close and uh, go to a university with a friend, uh, you know, in Carlos Island. So it was, uh, it was kind of a win-win deal. So when you get to Towson, uh, the Tigers were in the Patriot League, then they moved to the Atlantic 10. Mm-hmm. Could you tell the big jump that the school was making at that point? Well, absolutely, because, um, you know, my first two years we were in the Patriot League. We had a little bit of success, you know, but when we had that first season, uh, and, and, and back then it was called the Atlantic 10, you know, you, you remember we went 3-0 and out of conference, but in conference we went 0-8 that first year. We didn't <laughs> win a single game. So uh, we definitely knew, we definitely, we were on notice beforehand, but then when we uh, had the opportunity to actually play in that league, uh, we felt it, especially for the first year. But the good thing is the, the following year, so that, that when you're talking about redshirt junior year, I think we ended up winning three conference games and in the year after, like four or five. So it's, it's, it's been, you know, a, a nice steady climb. And then you, you finished your career and, and you had a young quarterback who turned out to be one of the greatest in Towson history and Sean Schaefer. You played with a lot of great quarterbacks, including Drew Brees. <laughs> when you look back at Sean, how do you see him as a quarterback? I thought Sean was a great quarterback, you know, when I was in college. You know, Sean was my first, uh, you know, you, you, you mentioned that, you know, I had the opportunity to play with Drew, but Sean was an accurate quarterback. Sean was a smart quarterback. Some of the same um, characteristics that some of the players that I've had the opportunity to play with in the NFL um, and play professionally. So that's been it's been pretty neat, but, you know, my guy was Sean. That was my first guy that, you know, I actually protected for multiple years. Um, so, yeah, you know, I, I, it was it was a joy to play, uh, to block for him and play with Sean because he, he had some success. He lit it up on the field. So it was it was definitely a pleasure. Okay, so then then you're done. Did you, did you have a good inkling that you were going to get drafted or was it a surprise to you? Just kind of looking back at that situation, again, it was just, I had a little bit of buzz, I guess you could say, you know, on the internet, um, you know, when it comes to pre-draft things. And uh, But I had a good agent behind me and he got my name out there a lot. I guess, you know, my play and, and the things I was able to do at Towson um, helped get my, you know, help get my name out there. But when you're a small school guy, you got to find some way to stand out and, and somehow we ended up, we, we did. And once I kind of ran the 40 that I wanted, it, it helped put people's eyes on me, I guess you could say. And I had the opportunity, you know, once I did that, I felt good that I would have an opportunity to play, but I didn't think I was going to have the, the chance to get drafted, you know, to have, that, to have that opportunity to play in the NFL coming from Towson. I never knew that was an opportunity, but I had a feeling that I could play. I didn't think I would go where I did go. I, now, I, I can't remember. Were you, you weren't invited to the combine or anything, were you? I was not. I was not. When, when your name came up in the fourth round, the Saints, yeah. that, that had to be like the culmination of all your dreams. It was a little bit of a shock, I'll be honest to you, because, you know, I didn't take an official visit. Like you said earlier, uh, Spiro, I didn't get the chance to go to the combine. So I didn't have a visit to New Orleans. That wasn't one of the teams that I went and, um, and, and had an official visit for. But they did come and work me out the Monday before the draft. And that was the only – communication the only time I had to be in front of them and when they did you know take you know when they did take that chance on me it was definitely a surprise I can't was, was Joe Vitt there then yes he was you were drafted? so Joe you did Vitt. have some kind of a Towson connection I guess Joe made that aware to you absolutely you know we 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 uh we repped it loud and proud you know whenever we had the chance um but yeah, you're exactly, you're exactly right, man. It was good to have a familiar family member, I guess you could say, because 
there are not many, you know, smaller school guys in these locker rooms. So you kind of know who the smaller school guys are and, you know, you got to stick together. So me and Joe were tight. Now, do, do they, when, when you get drafted out of a small school like Towson, do they, do the other players treat you a little differently than say if you were a fourth round draft choice out of Nebraska, would they have treated you differently when you first showed up to camp? I mean, I, I would get it a little bit from coaches and players. You know, you're a small school guy. You know, they act like they don't know how to pronounce your school. They always ask you, where's that at? Or, you know, they always have, a, you know, a smart comment. But, you know, once you, you know, once you put that work in on the field and you do what you're supposed to and, and you fight to contribute, those, uh, you know, those jokes or those, you know, those remarks, those you know, smart remarks kind of just, they stop, they stop sooner or later. Did you did you ever cr- run across Joe Flacco and remind him that you beat him? <laughs> um, man, no, I haven't had the chance to really talk to him. We played against him a couple times. I think I might have won against him twice, but no, I, I haven't. But if I am, in 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 you know in vicinity of him one day, and I'm able to go up and you know introduce myself, I might have to throw a little Towson Delaware jab in there for sure. There you go. All right, so you 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 had a long, great career with the Saints and. You're the starting left tackle in the Super Bowl. And I've got to tell you, I communicated with your head coach that, like Gordy Combs, because for years I kept telling Gordy, you ought to open the game with an onside kick. <laughs> I started the second half with it, and he texted me immediately. <laughs> Did you guys know coming out of the locker room at halftime that that's what you were going to do? Oh, yeah. I mean, that's something that I believe we had three or four special teams periods during practice. And Thomas Morstead was practicing that kick the week of the Super Bowl every day at practice, probably two, you know, two of those special teams periods. He's over there kicking them. He's getting it down. He's getting it down because, you know, if you listen to uh, the mic'd up part of that game, you know, you can hear Sean tell the ref, this is what we're going to do. This was something that he knew he was going to do. He just didn't know when he was going to pull it out of his tool, uh, out of his tool bag. You know, we we had it sitting in there, and he wanted to, I guess you could say, shock the coach and shock the world. And it was a pretty ballsy call, to be honest. It sure was. Now, the game ends. What, what's your immediate? What, what's going through your mind as that clock ticks down to zero and you are a world champion? You you pretty much just hit it right on the head. You know, you're you're a world champion and to see that confetti fall and to have your family and your friends and the ones who, you know, really mean the most to you there, uh, experiencing that, it, it, it's, it's a pretty surreal moment, to be honest with you, um, because I kind of go back to how I would view the Super Bowl 10, 15 years prior to that, and, and we would be at my parents' home in, 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 you know, in Virginia, and we would have family and friends over and whoever was playing, it was a lot of people, it was good food and it was an entertaining game. And then you kind of look back at it, you sit there and you, and, and, and you just realize the situation, like you're playing in the Super Bowl, like you, you are in this spectacle, you know, this, you know, probably one of the, the biggest game, you know, of the year. It's the biggest game of the year and you had the opportunity to play. So it's just a really, um, it's, it's a really special feeling that, you know, you really can't take away, especially when you win it. And, and uh, while you're playing that game, there are millions of little kids that were just like you mm-hmm. on the TV with their family and the good food, right? Absolutely. They're watching you now. I mean, you, and, that's, and that's the crazy thing about life, you know. I mean, growing up, uh, playing in the NFL or playing in the Super Bowl, it wasn't a part of it. wasn't my aspirations. It wasn't my goal. It's not what I wanted to do. But – that goal didn't change. My mindset didn't change until I came to Towson. And Towson and, and the relationships, you know, through offensive line coach John Donatelli that I had there, he, he, he switched my mindset. Now, if I would have went to, you know, if I would have went and, and, and I was a spider, you know, from, from, you know, playing for Richmond, maybe I wouldn't have had that relationship. I wouldn't have had that connection. I wouldn't have had that mindset, mindset shift. Um, so, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm grateful that I made a decision to come to Towson. I would have loved to, you know, make the playoffs. and But I have, you know, great friends. I, I have best friends who are still on that, you know, who, who we still communicate with daily. And I'm here, you know, I, I was able to play in this league and had the opportunity because of my relationships at Towson. So Towson was, it was the best move for me. It might not be the best move for some other people, 
You know, we could have went other, you know, you, of course, you know, you like to see the big schools, but Towson was my journey. And if I can, if my story can motivate or, or, or inspire somebody, that's, that makes me feel good. That's great. And, and for all your fans out there, what are you, what are you doing now, Jermon, now that you've retired? I got, uh, I got some little ones around this house that are, you know, that are going to school. You know, we are in a, the COVID uh, situation now, so they're going to be doing virtual school. So I'll be helping out here and my foundation, the Visual, Visualize and Rise Foundation, um, continuing to do some more work with that. We're going to, we're going to grow on that. We're going to build that. Um, we have our 11th year coming up this year with our 10th annual golf tournament. So it's, you know, it's just always about finding a way to get better. So I'm, I'm, you know, I have my time in that and spending time with my family and, and my friends. Hopefully I can see them soon, like, a, you know, like, like we used to do. We appreciate the time and, and uh, you know, you make us all proud, man. You make us all proud. We thank you for the time. No problem. No problem. This was a pleasure. Thank you again. Thank you.